Good afternoon, my name is Andrei Lobov. I'm an engineer. And I'm currently at the Technical University of Ambato, Ecuador. We had a conference where we talked about clean energy and electric motors. It happened at the Technical University in Ambato. The presentation was attended by students, the dean and the vice dean of the Faculty of Technical Engineering. We did a little experiment. As the motor was disassembled for transportation, the boat motor is transported like this. We put the motor in one box, and the hull from the motor, that is, the boat hull itself, in the other box. We arrived here at the very beginning of the lecture. I had no way to assemble the motor to show it to the audience. But Pavel Filipov suggested doing an experiment. Since this is a technical university, and it was obvious that the students were not first here, we offered them to assemble this motor while I was speaking. And I didn't give them any instructions at all. I just said, assemble it, and started my presentation. While I was talking about Dunov's motors, about the fact that we are building an engineering center, while I was talking about my equipment, and we came close to the boat motors, the motor was assembled. We plugged it, and it spun. The hole just exploded with applause, because they realized how simple it was. I mean, it's easy to assemble electrical equipment. There is a controller, there is a motor, and the young guys, they are technically savvy. They certainly did it with ease. It's not just global warming we are worried about. We want to have a clean environment in Ecuador and in all of Latin America. These motors give us the opportunity. They can be used in water, on land, and also in the air. Another fact which is not less interesting. After I finished my lecture, I was approached by students who have already assembled an electric car here at this university. I looked at a photo. It's very elegant. That is, the car is very elegant. And they asked to take our kit and install it on this car. We talked to Massimiliano and Marta, and so far we've decided that we are going to do it. In what time frame we will do it? Well, it depends on both the students and their technical background. As far as I understand, the university is participating in a state competition, and this car will be presented somewhere. Perhaps it will be supported by the government, and it is possible that they will start producing them here, in this town. And it will be a complete development of the university, but with doing of motors. Electric motors are very important, because there is a great need for clean energy in the world. And this is it. We should not depend on minerals or hydroelectric power plants. So with these motors we avoid pollution and preserve the environment. I sincerely wish Solar Group to grow, not only in our region, in Latin America, but all over the world. I wish you global success. Well, I have been moving around the world for almost a year now. In Latin America, I started giving lectures to students for the first time. I think it's a very good direction. Those young guys and girls 
are going out into the world now? They are exactly the future that I hope will preserve this planet.